This is RimWorld uh, Alpha version, uh, version 0 0.3. Uh, this is uh, a project I funded on Kickstarter last autumn. Uh, and there's been uh, a previous alpha. Uh, this is the first one I've played extensively and actually bothered to figure out what's going on. Um, I'm finding it quite addictive. I think if you're ever into um, you know games like Sim City, where basically just building stuff and watching what happens, this this is what the alpha currently does. Um, I think there's going to be more to it as you go along. Um, so. Uh, the sort of conceit of the game is there's actually uh, stories rather than rather than uh, I don't know just uh, mindlessly completing tasks and stuff. Uh, you can choose your storyteller, which is basically a level of difficulty. Uh, for now, I'm just going to stick to Phoebe Friendly, who's just uh, a nice relaxing tale, fairly easy to do. So one of the one of the main differences I think in this game from a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, real time strategy type things you see is that um, you end up with lots of individuals rather than uh, you know sort of undifferentiated villagers and other things. Um, so each each character has different traits, personality, uh, backstory different skills. Uh, the flames, so one flame means uh, interested, two flame means um, burning passion to learn more about stuff. So you can randomise, you see they have different ages. Very keen researcher there. Uh, so what I really want to start with is um, good construction. Or at least someone with good construction. I want someone with um, good mining and someone with good growing. What was he? Construction eight growing. Yes, okay. And and uh, although it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference right now, let's try and balance the. Um, Balance the sexes out a bit. Oh, mining six. Uh, another male. Uh, incapable of research or crafting, which seems strange. Uh, it's all with males. Also incapable of research and crafting. Oh, not really good at mining, but really keen to, keen to learn. Um, I suspect it will make a lot of difference later on when they're keen to learn stuff, but at the minute there doesn't appear to be a lot of uh, levelling up going on in the game. Oh dear. I think, um, uh, come on, more mining. Uh, no research. But quite good shooting. Oh, let's go with that. Join the inventor. So I've not really got a great grower. Not really a great grower. Good social medicine. So obviously this can take quite a while if you're looking for particular things. Um, lots of growing, no research or artistic. Okay, let's, let's do that then. I've brought a mind egg to haemophiliac. Um, so I've already attempted to create this video a couple of times now. And what I've what I've discovered is that I've basically spent an hour rambling on and uh, ended up with nothing that I could really upload. OK, so here's the game. You Basically, you've crashed. Your, your spaceship's blown up. You've crashed on the planet. You've had to crash.
crash down here. There we go. Right, space pauses again. And then, and then we can move around with the arrow keys or, or with the mouse if we're... If I was playing in a full screen the mouse works, it doesn't seem to work in windowed mode so well. So let's just get a layer of the land before I plot my um plot my uh, strategy here. Now these these things are uh, geysers which are handy because you can put geothermal geothermal reactors on them. And uh, so I think that is possibly my best spot. You can probably make use of this um, stone building at some point in the future. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the metal in the area. You see, at the minute it's marked as forbidden, which means uh, my folk they can't touch it. So I'm going to unmark it as forbidden. The second thing I'm going to do is delete the zones I have here. And then I'm going to create some zones down here near to this, this uh, geyser thing. So I'm going to have a stockpile. Very big one. I'm going to have a dumping stockpile which can go over here, which is just put rubbish in the stuff. And I'm going to create a growing zone basically across that fertile region there. The uh, last thing I'm going to do is um, deconstruct these sleeping spots and put sleeping spots over near where I'm going to build everything. Sleeping spot. There we go. One, two, three. Because I have three colonists. So this menu here, where it says architect, this is basically all the things you can you can do. Uh, orders, uh, mining, hauling things. Zones are those zones we just created, which is where to put stuff mostly. Structure is when we actually start building things, which I'll do in a minute. Uh, buildings is more. Not so much buildings as, as you know things which do stuff. Uh, security, we can have some weapons, and then once we've built houses, we can put various furniture in. So anyway, uh, I'm going to start the action now. We're going to watch the people um, do stuff. So Kunuki is already um, on with the hauling. These two are busy growing. So let's just uh, check. We have a growing 7, and construction 8, and growing 5, and construction 5. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I want um, Kagler, Canim, Oxan to build a load of stuff later. So let's just check. All right. So construction is a higher priority than growing, which is good. So that means that when I when I say right, build stuff, I'll stop doing the growing and uh, and and get on with it. So you see, Kanuki is already putting some stuff in my stockpile. That the, this is uh, that's fruit. This is metal. And you need the metal to build stuff. So it's obviously quite handy. You can get more metal by mining these these areas here of rock, these areas of rock that have got yellow edges. Now, let's just see what else we've got up here. Silver. Which will be useful for buying stuff later on. But the first thing we want to do, if we um I'm well, probably select the cannon, let's look at their thoughts. Very optimistic, had a chat, that's a little a little speech bubble that pop up, very happy. Well, it doesn't really need anything I a mean, minute, it is a bit dirty because they're wandering around in the outside. So, now I can speed up time a bit. There we go, make them move a bit faster. And 
uh, what will happen is, you know, quite soon it will go dark. And uh, what will happen then is that all these people will get a little bit depressed that they have to sleep on the ground outside. So you see we've got, um, it's helping us out. We need to build a room, we need a meal source. So I'm letting them plant some stuff. So, the man's connected quite a lot of metal now. So the first thing I'm going to do is slap the uh, geothermal reactor on that spot, so I'll power. There's already a nice uh, rock, rock wall there. Stone wall, which is handy. I'm just going to incorporate that into my uh, building. Which uh, means, means less to build myself, sort of thing. going in and out of. Uh, they're all at the building. Yeah, someone somewhere underneath. There we go. We get the door. Get some more metal. So we've already got power door. You see the little little electric thing there says there's no actual power going to it, uh, which is why I wanted to build this um, build this generator. Now while we're at it, there's a load of debris in there, so let's just mark all that to be hauled out of the way. Before I do anything else, what I'm going to do is add a nice concrete floor to my to my little little room. It's getting dark. Oh, starvation! Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to find some food, and we need to mark it as uh, available. Food lying around. So they don't starve to death. What else we got here? Here's some more. Alright, so plenty of food available. There we go. Kanuki's okay, eating stuff. Tidying up in here. We've got power. So we're getting power coming in. What we need here is some uh, batteries. Uh, shall I see the batteries? Tend to put them away from the generator. A couple of batteries. And that will that will help us that will store the energy. Uh, furniture. Let's have a lamp here in the corner. Some beds in here by the door. They're mostly temporary. Oh, everyone, a quick nap. Uh, need defences. That's the next tip. But we'll we'll worry about the um, worry about feeding them first. That I need a nutrient paste dispenser. 
Okay, so Gorg to put things along the wall. I should have put the beds on the other side. That's what I should do. Uh, we'll leave them there now. Finishing a space dispenser and uh hoppers. Lots of visitors. Here they are. Don't really care. I don't think there's anything you can really do with visitors at the moment. They're just, you know, one of these one of these things that happens. Now, did we collect enough? Let's, let's mark some did we get all the stuff from up here yet? Yes. Mark some more metal so they can carry on building stuff. Now in a bit we want to collect this is this is basically silver, you know, currency. I think it might be worth expanding the growing zone. Now they've got beds, why are they not sleeping in the beds? Come on. Oh, we've got we've got boom rats stealing our food, perhaps. So I'll deconstruct that sleeping area, now they're all up. There we go. Sleep in the beds now. Dispenser. Boom. We are in business. So, defences. Let's, um, let's put a turret up that side to protect. Our fields and our, our storage area. We can put to it here. Shall cover the storage area from a different angle. Uh, it all does work on line of sight. So one thing I've not done yet, when we're talking about it, is um, declare it as a home zone. This is quite important because uh, basically they only put fires out in in places that are the home zone. So because I plan to do expanding I'm just gonna do that for now. There's my home zone. So we'll, we'll look at the uh, thoughts. Right, spacious, very nice. Slept outside. Well not anymore. Slept on ground, not anymore. Upset to be sharing a bedroom and upset to be eating nutrient paste. Interesting. Alright, more travellers. Right, no trading capacity. So trading requires two things. The first thing is uh, we need an orbital trade beacon which we position Position where our, our stockpile is, and that indicates anything that's trade with with passing ships needs to be within range of an orbital beacon. Now the second thing we need is a comms console, which you know, obviously is in buildings. And what we can do is stick that in here. trade with passing ships. Well, you know, when they build it. Now we are running out of silver, so we'll designate some uh, miners or some areas to do mining. 
So this is this area looks quite promising, it's quite close. All that gold fringe indicates indicates metal. Where's my where's my other character gone? Ah, oh, there they come. Oh, watch me know it. Let's call it Rob Town. No, oh, let's spell town correctly. There we go. So you see, I'm already at uh, 20 odd minutes of watching this. We've not really got everything done yet. Is this why you set home region? Because the thunder and lightning can strike and can strike an area any time. And uh, set fire to things, right? So no one's mining, why is that? Because mining is a lower priority than growing. So who was the best miner? Seven for Canem. Right. So what we're going to do is for Canon, we're going to say stop growing stuff, and then Canon will do some mining. You do have to be careful not to make your growing area too large because then you just, you know, you waste a person planting away. Planting away forever and ever. Now, what I'm also going to do is designate this area to be mined because at some point in the future I'll put a geothermic um, generator over that. Steam gazer. Right, see, we've got some money now. 490. All we need now is for a ship to turn up. Now we're getting on here in the, oh, 25 minutes. I'm aiming to stop in the next five. Hopefully, a ship will turn up before then. So you can see what all that's about. I'll probably speed up a little bit more and see what happens. Oh. Right, a trade ship is passing by, a farming vessel. Not that they'll be much good to us, but... Uh, who is the one we've got a social? Social one... No, none of them really. Right, so you that's the character. You right-click on the console. And they then talk to the farmers. So what we can do is, uh, what have we got? Oh, I've not got any berries to sell. 
but I can sell some of that. Not that it'll get me very many, uh, very many silver. But there we go. Done. And uh, some pods arrive. With our silver in. Let's zoom along a bit. all that mining. So, I'm just going to uh, stick an extra bed in, in case the slave ship comes by. And I'm going to extend, extend the little house. So one of the things that happens, which happened a lot the first time I played it, but not so much since, is that um, uh, pods crash down with, with people in them, and the only way you can actually do anything useful with them is, is to uh, put them to keep them prisoner, and then you can convince them to join the colony. Oh, just like a load of uh, metal land. fairly frequently. Right, so now I've got a little um, a little prison cell, just in case. Right, let's, let's try and speed up again. There we go. The farming vessel is left. 28 minutes. What have we got here? Okay, more people passing by. Bothered. So there's various animals wandering around. One of the things you can do is um, hunt the animals. Oh. oh, slave trader. Cool. So. Let's call MB Shipping. So slave traders give you the opportunity um, to add people. So you can look and see what they're all about. You know, we can have a 45-year-old um, nymphomaniac who is also paranoid. A uh, scavenger warrior with a missing eye, incapable of manual dumb, but great at fighting people, and in fact loves fighting people. which you've got to worry about a bit. So what we'll do is we'll buy um, buy those two. Let's see how it goes. Uh, what I'll need at that point, of course, is another bed. Because there we go. Build a bed just to make sure they can all sleep somewhere. 
So that's one of the ways you uh, get more colonists, is you buy slaves. Now combat slide. The combat slide getting guns, so I'll not do that. I'll just check around. It's one of the things that happens. There we go. So, for instance, here is a rifle. So let's just uh, check our characters. Who was the best shooter? Three, six, five, six. Right, so cannon. Where uh, has it got there? No, lost it. There it is, right. So cannon, go and get that rifle. The other good shooter. Shooting six. Meowski. Go and get that pistol. And orange. Shooting five, that'll do. Go and get that other pistol. So if they start now, they'll run over pick up some weaponry and that will make it easier if we want to do some hunting also be handy if anyone attacks us uh, they will shoot back uh, you can also buy weapons from the ships that pass and things like that um, so yes uh, I'm quite enjoying this game even though there's not really a lot of game there yet uh, it's basically just build stuff watch it carry on um, but I quite enjoyed all that sort of stuff in uh, in you know in uh, in SimCity, Civilization, all that sort of thing. Nothing wrong with it. Um, I think it's, obviously it's only an alpha. Um, people are getting depressed because they're showing a bedroom. So the next step will be to build some uh, you know build some more bedrooms, mine out all of that stuff. But I'll leave it there for now. Let's go and get thunderstorm. Oh, fire, fire. Get thunderstorm. Various weather happens. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll leave it there for now. But I recommend uh, checking out the, the alpha and uh, considering purchasing it when it becomes a real game.